Hi, this is Tolak for the Andromeda Galactic Council. Today is Friday, November 29th, 2019. Hi everyone. This following information, this piece of my life story, is the introduction. And it's a bit different than anything I've done before. It's also the reason for this specific video. This information is personal and I'm hoping it will provide a backdrop of substance as to why I'm producing this video on this insightful topic now. As most of you know, earlier in this year, early June to be exact, Joe Anthony and I decided to push forward into late September of next year, 2020, our fourth annual Transformational Shift Events Conference. We made this decision after a couple of extensive conversations regarding the current, highly challenging dynamic year we are living in. But this decision was, quite honestly, mostly driven by an internal commitment I made to myself and to my 88-year-old mom, who is suffering from mid-stage dementia and progressive Alzheimer's disease, that I would head back to New England to our family home for the summer. June through September, and spend it there with my mom, which I did. Even though I've been formally doing this very rewarding TOLEC work since September 2010, with the Andromeda Council website and YouTube channels going live the last week of April 2011, what most of you don't know is that I've been spending considerable time with mom for the better part of the past 10 years depending on the time of year, from about 40 to 60% of my life. Since three major events happened in the life of our family, dad passed over in December of 2008, and subsequent to dad's passing, mom had two minor strokes, one in December of 09, and another one in February of 2013. I'm pretty sure that these strokes were the onset of mom's dementia. With the four straight months I spent with mom this summer, we as a family finally met the requirements of mom and dad's long-term healthcare insurance company policy and their guidelines for mom to qualify for in-home, full-time, long-term care as compared to us moving her to an assisted or memory care facility. As a result, as of the first week of October 2019, two full months ago, I began to have for the first time in my life, in 10 years, the full ownership and all of the future potentialities of my life, because I know that I will no longer need to provide any in-home care for mom, because now we have a caregiver coming into the family home full-time five days a week out of seven. For any of you who have ever experienced what caregiving is like for someone who has progressive dementia and Alzheimer's, you absolutely know what I'm talking about. And so in summary, as of October, two months ago, I have my life back. Why is this relevant to this video? I'll tell you. So we're gonna now fast forward to today, November 29th, 2019. Over the past three weeks or so, as I've continued to examine and explore new avenues, new potential beginnings regarding the totality of my professional life, and as I prepare to hop on a plane in three weeks to head back to New England for the Christmas and New Year's holidays, I've begun to have and feel feelings and emotions that I've not experienced in many, many years. Now, I know that many of you who are on a progressive path of growing awareness, awakening, consciousness, and spirituality have not only heard about the waves of energy sometimes hitting, sometimes washing over this planet, though they are real, I had never actually felt their cause and effects. I know my good friend Joe Anthony of Planets Within has addressed these many times and does so each month in his monthly astrology reviews. 
But this is the first time I actually experienced feeling their effects. Because this is my personal experience, please let me describe to you firsthand what I felt. And these are feelings of intense, and I'll just go through these one by one, internal self-doubt, questioning of life purpose, fear, confusion, uncertainty, upheaval, questioning my own self-value in relation to my overall life and future role for my remaining time here on Earth. These are kind of difficult for me to voice, but I wanted you to know about them. And these kinds of questions, these kinds of insecurities, I haven't felt in years, many, many years. And so after about three weeks or so of these difficult feelings, very difficult feelings, I had a couple of recent conversations with my Dakota sister, Adana of Star Ancestry, who is Andromene of the Council. I shared with her what I'd been feeling and experiencing. And I learned in our conversations that she too admitted to having almost exactly the same kind of feelings over the same period of time in the past three weeks, but with regard to different areas of her life. But still, the same kind of questioning, internal fear-based, low vibrational feelings. So as we were talking about our experiences, I thought to ask our Andromeda Galactic Council contact people if these low vibrational, strangely similar feelings to us, were they unique to us or were they being triggered by an outside force and affecting more people than just us. Here's the multi-part answer we received and learned. There is a new series of positive cosmic energy waves purposefully initiated by the galactic creator gods, that's with a small g, that was sent out recently and specifically to address, disrupt, and break up old residual lower vibrational fear-based negative energy patterns and energies to whatever degree these still reside within us. That includes me. These recent cosmic energy waves were manifested by these creator gods, again small g, to wash across all dimensions, all galaxies, all star systems and their planets, and for all of their life forms to disrupt, unsettle, and evoke healing, cleansing, and clearing, resulting in the transmutation and release of no longer useful lower vibrational energies and a transformation in each one of us. This step in our transformation is one part of our evolutionary upward growth toward becoming higher vibrational humans, including a greater depth of self-love for each one of us. Again, this is yet another of our evolutionary steps. For any of you that are experiencing what Adana and I have experienced and felt, it is real and palpable. And as my good friend Joe Anthony of Planets Within has said, you can expect these energies to be around until the end of February 2020, when things will finally calm down considerably and day-to-day -day Earth life will feel and be a lot easier." Unquote. In closing, please understand and remember, these positive, effective, life-changing energy waves they are washing over all dimensions, densities, vibrations, galaxies, star systems, and planets. The people of planet Earth are most affected because the saturation and depth of 3D fear-based programming and consciousness 
on earth over millennia is so widespread and so pervasive, these changes are felt more deeply by us on earth as compared to other planets where the sentient, intelligent, self-aware life forms are far more evolved, where they live in a moment-by-moment -moment vibration of love. We too will get there. And again, this is simply another step in our upward evolution. I hope this specific information helps all of you. Many blessings to you all. Quo the code type.